Now on to pricing currency swaps. So currency swaps is uh, an agreement where it involves two counterparties that exchange principles and interest in two different currencies. So here we have a US company that has entered into a one-year currency swap with quarterly resets based on a 30 over 360 day count and the exchange of the notional amounts at initiation and, and maturity. At the swap initiation, the US company receives the notional of 100 million pounds and pays the notional amount in US dollars to the counterparty. So at time zero, we have the interbank rates for 90 to 360 days and then we have the US dollar spot interest rate and the pound spot interest rate and we assume that the swap counterparties agree to a spot exchange rate of one pound to one dollar and 31 cents so let's calculate the annual fixed swap rates for british pound and us dollars so if you've been watching my uh, previous videos on pricing interest rate swaps we'll do it in the same way so let's say if you're doing it for us dollar okay so let's do it for usd so in this case uh, the pv for 90 days will be 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.026 multiplied by 90 over 360 okay so this will be 0 0.9935 and then for the 180 days okay this will be 1 over 1 plus 0 0.0266 and then this is 180 days over 360 so this will be 0 0.9869 and then we have the PV for 270 days. This will be 1 plus 0 0.027. And then it's uh, 270 over 360. So that's 0 0.9802. And then the PV for 360 days. That's 1 over 1 plus 0 0.0275 times 360 over 360, which is 1. So that will give you 0 0.9732. So if you sum up all these four fact present value factors, okay, so the total here would be equals to 3.9338. So if you want to find the fixed swap rate for US dollar, remember the formula, just take one minus the last PV factor, so which is 0 0.9732. Then we divide by the total PV, which is 3.9338. Right, so that gives you about 0.6813% per quarter. So in the exam, you may be required to analyze it. If you analyze it, multiply by 4. So that gives you about 2.7251% per annum. Right, so that's the analyzed fixed swap rate for the US dollar side. Now, if you're doing it for the pound side, let's give some space. So for the pound side, we'll do it in a similar way. So the PV for 90 days will be 1 over 1 plus 0 0.0084 times 90 over 360. So that's 0 0.9979. And then the PV for 180 days will be 1 over 1 plus 0 0.0095. And that's 180 days. So you will get 0 0.9953 and then you have the PV for 270 days that's 1 over 1 plus 0 0.01 270 over 360 so that gives you 0 0.9926 and then you have the PV for 360 days it's 1 over 1 plus 0 0107 times 360 over 360 so that's about uh, 0 0.9894 Four. okay so if you sum up all this uh, you will get a total of 3.9752 okay so this is the total for pound so the pound fixed swap rate will be 1 minus the last PV factor which is 0 0.9894 over 3.9752 so that comes up to about 0.2667 percent per quarter so if you analyze it we multiply by 4 so that gives us 1.0666 percent per annum so that's the fixed swap rate for the pound side okay and the US dollar side so the next thing that we could be asked is to calculate the notional amount of the other leg of the swap 
So we do know that one leg of the swap has a notional of 100 million pounds. So in this case, uh, we have the US company with the swap dealer. And in this case, the U at the initiation, at the inception of the swap contract, the US company will receive, receive 100 million pounds. Okay, and then you will have to pay an equivalent amount. So normally the amount that we pay here will be, uh, the exchange rate will be decided on based on the initiation spot exchange rate for the currency, which is in this case 1.31. So here one pound is uh, 1.31 US dollars. So we'll just multiply by 1.31 in this case. So the notional of the other leg is 131 million dollars. Now, what if you were asked to calculate the fixed swap quarterly payments for this currency swap? So the first thing that students normally get confused is who's paying the quarterly payments. So one thing to keep in mind is that for the US company in this case, okay, uh, from our previous example, the US company received the notional of 100, and 100 million pounds. Okay, well, the swap dealer is now holding the 131 million dollars notional. So keep okay, in mind now the pound is with the US company. So the swap dealer is holding the 131 million dollars. So who's whoever is holding that currency, that's the interest, that's the currency of the interest that you are going to pay. So the US company is going to pay the swap dealer, okay, interest in pounds. While the swap dealer is going to pay the interest in US dollars. So the US company will receive interest in USD. Now what type of rate are we going to use? So every quarter we'll use the quarterly fixed swap rate which we have calculated earlier. So the fixed swap rate for US dollar is 0.6813% uh, per quarter. So let's get that down. So the fixed US dollar rate is 0.6813% per quarter. Okay, and for the pound rate, okay, the pound rate will be 0.2667 percent per quarter so in this case every quarter uh, the US company is going to pay interest in pounds okay and that amount will be that interest payment in pounds will be based on the notional of 100 million pounds so that's 100 million pounds there so the multiplied by 0.2667 percent so in this case, the interest in pound will be equals to 0.2667 million or it's about 266,700. Now for the interest paid on the US dollar currency, so that will be based on the notional of 131 million multiplied by the quarterly interest rate of 0.6813%. So that will be equals to 0.6813%. 8925 million okay or that will be 892,503 dollars so this will be 266,700 pounds and you will receive 892,503 US dollars so that's that so catch my next video where I will be doing another example on based on this case on how we value currency swaps